Yo, yo, what's happening, family? It's been a while, man, since I've actually done one of these joints, man. I apologize. A lot of y'all already know. Got a lot of things going on right now, man, which we'll talk about next week when I actually do a live. Like, I'm actually going to do a live, man. Next week, I don't have a paper to write, so we should be good. But I wanted to still do a real quick video, man, to do my uh, first impressions and thoughts, which has actually been more than first impressions on these joints, man, because I've had them for a while, but we'll still get my thoughts on the three newest joints in the collection. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy, Court. Just another fragrance reviewer should be sprinkling across the screen as we speak. Before we hop into some business, if I can remember all this, let's get into some business. Follow me on my things at CourtMC on Instagram and X, Twitter, whatever the hell it's called these days. The real J-A-F-R, if I can get my words out, on TikTok. Apparently, TikTok is uh, getting shut down. You know, whatever. You know, Facebook's been doing the same thing for years. So I have other companies, but you know, hey, let's shut down TikTok. Um, if you're new, man, like I said, my name is Court. Welcome. Welcome to the fam, man. Uh, here we review fragrances. We also talk about how to buy, what not to buy, what to buy. But not to pay, wash your ass, brush your teeth, because it's a full package, baby. You're here for the first time again. Welcome. I appreciate you. We finally hit that 500 uh, subscriber mark. I said I was going to get something away, but medical bills have gotten in the way, so it ain't happening. I'm sorry, y'all. I got to pay for these uh, medical bills, or they stop medical in me, or something like that, or whatever. Anyway, uh, but we made it to 500 subscribers. I think we're still sitting at 500, so. And hopefully, if we ever get to a thousand, and and I get all this stuff kind of out out of the way and behind me, I'll be able to get some away. Anyway, if you're here for the first time, welcome. Uh, if you don't mind, do me a favor, hit that uh, that button is probably red right now. Go ahead and turn that bitch gray, so you will get updates when I post videos like this. Which, if you ask anybody else, doesn't happen a lot, uh, and that's my fault. Again, I'm pretty much just like a short creator now, and it's the same shorts over and over again. And trust me, just as, as boring it probably is for y'all to watch, it is as boring for me to make, but I got to keep momentum going somehow. Um, we're going to talk about uh, the three newest joints in the collection. Uh, most of them have been worn several times in the sense of the day, but I wanted to jump on real quick, do a quick video, run through them, give you my first thoughts or my not my, or my thoughts and my and, and, uh, impressions on a man, whether you should buy it. Um, whether there's any redundancy, if you already own this or that or the third, man. So let's get into it. Let's go ahead and talk about the first joint that I got, uh, new recently. And that is, um, Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren's Ralph club, Ralph's club. Uh, and then if you can see, it's the EDP, which I actually didn't realize when I bought it. So I got this joint off of Walgreens. Um, boy Jonathan hit me up. Shout out to Jonathan. One of the uh, uh, supporters that are always around, always uh, contributing to the community. I definitely pre appreciate you, big dog, uh, for always looking out and always, you know, coming through with the, uh, with the comments and whatnot and showing love. But anyway, uh, Jonathan hit me up on Instagram one day, said, man, did you know that Walgreens has uh, Ralph's Club on uh, sale on their site? It's supposed to be like, you know, 40 bucks, which it was. I know you've been looking to get the the full bottle, man. I just figured I'd hit you up because he's in Canada. There are no Walgreens in Canada. So it's like, you know, one of us can get it. So I went there and lo and behold, there it was, man. But every time I tried to click on it to buy, they would say that they were out of stock. So I had to hurry up and get my order in. So I really didn't pay attention to the details of this joint, man. So uh, long story short, Actually got it the next day, man. Uh, Walgreens had Uber uh, uh, Eats deliver that joint to to the crib the next day. Like a dude brought it up in a paper sack like it came from Walgreens, man. One of the strangest but coolest things I've ever had happened to me when it, when it comes to like getting fragrances and whatnot, man. It's pretty dope. But anyway, so I got it home, cracked it open, and then I realized, it's like, oh, snap, this is the EDP. Not the EDT. I had a... Uh, a decan of the EDT. I gave it to the homie because I tried to put him on to the sale and unfortunately he missed it. So he didn't get a chance to get this joint for 40. And I was like, man, this joint is dope. Go ahead and try it out. So I gave him my EDT because uh, I figured I already, you know, I had the big bottle, but it turned out to be the EDP. So we're going to rock with it. Here you go. Here's your presentation. This is the bottle. 
pretty dope, kind of looks like a flask. Open it up, kind of opens up like a flask. If I can get my, uh, get it turned around. There's your sprays, decent atomizer. Um, you can get a lot of fingerprints over on the top of those, you know, fingerprint folks that don't want, you know, stuff on there. Yeah, so you're gonna have to clean that off a little bit. I really don't care. Um, <clears throat> get your batch code for batch code nerds out there at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Came from Walgreens, so I'm not really suspecting that something weird, weird has happened. But uh, let's get into the notes uh, real quick. If I can get it pulled up on my computer. According to Frangantica, uh, it has lavender, top, clary sage. Those should be popping in. Uh, Virginia cedar and vetiver. Um, this joint to me um, is better suited for when it's a little cooler outside. I'm not saying that you can't wear it during the summer. You can just dial down the sprays a little bit, man. It's a, it's a little thick. You know, like you see that lady. You know, lady walking down like you a little thick, cause you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah, it's that lady walking down like you a little thick. Oh, or, or ladies, do y'all see dudes like that? It's like he's a little, I don't know, weird. Um, but you can definitely wear cause lavender, you know, it grows when it's hot. So why not wear, you know, it in a fragrance when it's hot? But definitely dial the sprays back. So uh, if you if you spray a little heavier in the winter go a little lighter in the spring and the summers but i think you can pretty much wear it anytime anywhere i think this joint would be good for a night out date night um a night out trying to you know catch a little something something but not you know anyway uh but yeah um definitely one of these joints that you can pretty much wear to the office great interview joint i think you know what i'm saying i think if you wore it to an interview they, the interviewer would think that you were uh, sophisticated and smart, and they should give you the job. So, get that. Anyway, that's uh, uh, Ralph Lawrence, Ralph's Club, the EDP. Next joint I got, I do believe in. Give me a second, y'all. Man, this should be drying my mouth out. So unprofessional. Anyway, next joint I got, I actually saw and have been uh, watching for a long time. This joint has been on my list since I started uh in the community since i started collecting like i've always had fragrances but i didn't start collecting until like 2015 2016 14 maybe you know what i'm saying i didn't start collecting until then i didn't start getting into the fragcom until a lot you know later like i've always had fragrance with this joint when i first got into frag fragcom excuse me was a joint that i actually got a sample of in the sample bag for sin explore and i loved it and i said as soon as I can find it for a good price, I'm copying it. And that's exactly what I did. And you can't really tell what it is by the box because it is a tester. But it's a uh, Boyce 1920 Uros, Uruso. My bad. Go ahead and take it out of the box. I wanted to show the tester box. So again, stress the importance of copping testers because sometimes they just come in that white box. But it's still the full presentation, man. So you got the Uroso on the back. You have a cap. It's not a magnetic cap or anything like that. Nice gloss, uh, frosted glass bottle here with boys 19, you know, whatever on it. Uh, there's your atomizer. Dope atomizer. Um, this joint I instantly fell in love with. And then once I got it here recently, if I can get the nose pulled up, I realized why so this joint in my opinion and an opinion of a lot of folks that i've just been reading up on this joint for or with online it's a more masculine take of baccarat rouge 540 so for the folks that love or should i say the fellas or even you know ladies you want the more masculine version of it that want a more masculine version of baccarat rouge 540 this is it this is it. You know what I'm saying? It has everything that you love about Baccarat Rouge, but it, it dials that femininity down to damn near zero. And then with me, I already had a C word of BR540. So without necessarily realizing it, it's like, is there some redundancy going on with it? But the joint that I have is probably more so a carbon copy of the og this one 
kind of is, but it does its own thing because, like I said, it is more, a little bit more masculine. But let's get into the notes real quick. At the top, you got blood orange, blood orange, and some citruses. Uh, mid, you got um, saffron, some lavender again, uh, jasmine, and you got woody notes and musk uh, at the bottom. And of course, there's more notes. I'm just not gonna list them all. But uh, this joint is one that I honestly think if you can find it for a good price. So it retails in that 250 ish up to $300 range. I got it for 80 bucks. So I had to pull the trigger. Hopefully they don't get me in trouble with saying that on YouTube, but yeah, I had to get it. And I'm glad I got it in my collection, man. I might get rid of the other joint that I have because I really don't need it. You know what I'm saying? I got this joint, but then again, like, on days that I just want to smell like Baccarat Rouge, I could wear, you know, the joint that didn't really cost me as much as this joint costs. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, bust this joint out. Special occasions, whatever. Just depending on how I feel. But whatever, man. I'm glad I got it in my uh, in my collection. It's a joint that I've always wanted in my collection. And I honestly uh, think, you know what I'm saying, pick it up, man, if you want a more masculine version of BR540. And that's uh, Boys1920. Uruso. Uruzo. I'm trying to say this shit right, man. That's a cap. I ain't sure the cap on top. Pretty dope. Uh, last, but certainly not least, is a joint that I was planning on buying when it initially came out. And I'm getting the notes looked up on my computer right now so I can go. Man, Lavender is present today, huh? Uh, it's a joint that I've been, uh, been wanting in the collection since it first came out. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, the company, we love them, but they decided to uh, discontinue this joint uh, and not sell it in the U.S. You can apparently get it um, everywhere else but here in the United States, which, I mean, okay, cool. Uh, but I'm glad I was able to get it. I got it from uh, one of the uh, fragrance swap groups I'm in on Facebook. I keep telling y'all, stop sleeping on those groups, man jump in there you don't have to buy anything but just kind of see how it goes see what people are selling stuff for and if you see something you like that you just can't turn away from bam there you go get it man uh do a legit check make sure that person is a legitimate person that people deal with and feel comfortable sending money to and that you're going to get your stuff man you know what i'm saying and then you know get in there i've bought and i bought several joints from that particular group on its own itself you know what i'm saying so uh, i would definitely um recommend doing that but anyway the joint i'm talking about the joint i got was e saint laurent lana weed alone blue electric the sin of the day yesterday the sin of the day today i told you i was gonna wear it again but this joint i absolutely absolutely love man it has the lana weed alone uh feel to it but there's just something a tad bit different and i can't really place my finger on it Maybe it's a ginger, maybe it's something else, but it's like it's like lot of weed alone, but a little bit more earthiness, a little greenness to it. Not it's not dark at all. Um uh, what I call this a a a blue, other than the fact that the actual liquid is blue. Maybe not, but you know, it has that classic lot la, la noe, you know, lone look. Electric, see that? Why is that on the top? Go ahead and get the atomizer right quick. These anatomizer. Uh, let's get into the notes. So it's, it's got cardamom. <laughs> Mostly, y'all know that's my favorite note. Ginger and bergamot at the top. Got some lavender and geranium in the middle. And you got cedar and vetiver to round it out at the bottom. Maybe it's a cedar. Which is weird because I think I'm allergic to cedar. Like when it's in the air. Like messes messes with my allergies. Just doesn't in fragrance. Anyway, um... I don't know what it is, man. I just know that I love this joint. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know that I know that I love this joint. Do I love it more than I love uh, the uh, original La Nui? Nah. Does it have the same performance issues as the original La Nui? Yes. Uh, does it suck that it's no longer available for sale in the U.S.? Yes. Apparently, there's a C word of it out there too that uh, I think Fragrance World does or somebody does. Um, not sure, but. Uh, yeah, check that out. Um, all that being said, if you can get your hands on it, I still highly recommend it. Now, don't break the bank for this joint. 80, 
90 bucks at the most for this size bottle is what you should pay, period. You know what I'm saying? Outside of that, I would not go out of my way to get it, especially if it's more. Somebody's saying $200, you can tell on the kiss show, you know what. Uh, but if you can find it for a good deal, jump on it. If not, let it go on and walk on by. Maybe you'll be able to cop it next time, man. I, I'm, I'm sure there's going to be more of these joints in circulation. Unfortunately, you just can't go to, like, you know, your your box retail stores, like Macy's and all that, and cop these. You just can't do it because they pulled it for whatever reason. But that's uh, YSL, La Noe de Lone, Blue Electric. Oh, my bad. <laughs> that's it, y'all. Those are the three joints that I've gotten into my collection uh, newly thus far. Uh, I'm sure there'll be more, even though I've kind of, you know, uh, scaled it back as far as what I'm buying, because I had to, because I got medical stuff to pay for. I keep saying that. Uh, and just, you know, money. You know, things are just more expensive these days. So uh, I probably will cop some new joints, man. I, I need to go back. I said I was going to do decans and decans only. That's what I need to get to, or get back to uh, that way of uh, experiencing new fragrances, because it's just cheaper. It's cheaper, it's economical, man. And uh, you get to try the joints walk around with them and then decide if it's worth making that investment because it is an investment because these joints don't appreciate well not all of them they they depreciate you're not gonna get the money that you spend all them back so here's what it is anyway man uh love y'all i appreciate every single one of y'all for hanging in there rocking with me we made it to 500 that was a goal now i don't know what to do or even what that means and honestly kind of don't care uh but still uh we're still pushing I'm still going to be here for the time being uh, live next week, probably around one ish, 12 ish, one ish, 11 ish. So I'll make sure I post it early to let folks know what time is going to be, man. This video is a little long and I apologize. Anyway, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your peoples. Don't you dare let your peoples be funky when you can send them to your boy, man. I love each and every one of y'all. Y'all be safe out there. Don't do nothing that I wouldn't do, which is not a lot really not y'all be easy peace is it gonna work it's really not working like seriously